What's up guys, it's me, Infinity, and today I want to play Ellen, pixelated horror game that I saw on a PlayStation store, and I was like, oh, this looks pretty, uh, pretty good. I want to share it with y'all, right? Do a little video on it. Give y'all a little horror game experience, because I don't play horror games like that. But yeah, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, push that notification bell so whenever you know I upload a video. And uh, let's hop right into it. Where bro get dragged off to? You ask what I see? Very well. Is it, oh. Uh, what is that on the ground? Oh, water. Damn. Ah, my leg hurts. What a fall. It was so dark, I didn't see the broken floor. I need to find my way out of this place. Maybe I can find something around to heal myself. What's that? It was a gift from my mother. What was, what is this? Goodbye, old friend. Great, that was my favorite jacket. What? Oh, I don't know. An unbearable smell is coming from inside. I should go before I faint. For a pixelated game, this looks pretty good. It, it gives off like a very eerie vibe. I like that. But why is bro built like a One Piece character? My gosh. Bro like 17 feet tall, ain't he? It's some sort of ritual place. I don't understand why would it be here? Also, I feel cold standing next to it. What is that? Found a battery. That's one creepy doll. Maybe it belongs to the missing girl. While we're here, hold on. None of these seem interesting. While we're here, basically the premise of the story, which I got from the description of the game, is that uh, you're playing as a detective, I believe? And a, a girl with the same name as the game, Ellen, goes missing while the rest of her family is gone. They, they died. I guess our job is to find her and see where she went. At least I could survive three more days eating plants. Is that a wall? It's locked. Uh, apparently that's a jacket? I don't, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, a note. Oh, a map. It's hard to read. You're useless. Is that rotten food? Why is it here anyway? What is that? No. It writes notes about what's happening. Case number 1709. Mysterious murder of the Smiths. The year is 1992 in the quiet town of Whitehill, England. A grim and dark mystery lies at the heart of this seemingly peaceful town. The brutal murder of the Smiths family. It has been a few years since the tragedy, and numerous investigations have taken place inside the residence to no avail. Father, mother, and son found dead. Each met with a gruesome fight. F each met with a gruesome fate. It wasn't pretty. Their daughter, Ellen, however, was never found. Weeks after the incident, the body of the little girl was still missing, and authorities assumed the worst until recently. Reports of the silhouette of a little girl standing behind the windows of the house began circulating, and the investigation was reopened. The police, skeptical of the reports, weren't too eager to enter the infamous house again. The task was passed on to James, fresh blood eager to prove his worth. He arrived at the residence and walked in. James is us. We are James. And we are here to investigate these rumors of a little girl in the windows of the house, presumably to be Ellen. All right, that's pretty much the premise of the story. That's pretty much why we're here. Smells like gasoline. Completely rusted, could fall apart at any moment. That's gross. What is this? Keep buzzing. Ooh, yeah, let me go in this power room. <laughs> a rusty broken key. A rusty broken key, it's useless. Looks like the rats have made these wires their dinner. There's no way I'll be able to restore the electricity. Cat food, it does smell. Okay, I don't care. Oh, make it. What's that other thing? Whatever. Yep, let's get out of here. I can't believe that got me. It's locked. Then what do I do? Oh, wait. I have a med kit. I can, I can heal myself. Jesus. How do I use it? Oh, my gosh. There we go. All right, now we can run. And we have a stamina bar. Were those there? Wait, where's the food? Wait, we weren't in here before. It was locked, right? Cat food, it does smell bad. I saw some cat food around. I think 
Oh, I, I found, I saw, oh my god. But the Smith's cat is alive. What is that? A flashlight, let's go. Woo! A door that leads to the backyard. There is a cat outside. Maybe it's hungry. Sadly, I can't help it. Why? Oh, it smells bad. That blood on the window. Did someone just kill the cat? Well, let's not find out. My stamina recharges so slowly. Oh, hey there, buddy. Who are you? Oh! What? Where am I? Don't worry, James. You're not dead. I can't speak for long. They might find out I'm talking to you. They? And who are you? I know why you came to our house, James. You're looking for me. You're probably very confused, but I'll help you as much as I can. This is Ellen. I have to go now. We'll meet again soon enough. Just make sure you stay away from the shadows. Yeah, I'm gonna try out different voices for different characters. Sometimes I see myself drinking blood in my dreams. What? Bro. Oh God. There is a bite on my arm. Looks like it's from a little kid. I remember seeing him turning into a monster. My memory is vague. I must move on. Keep on keeping on. See, the flashlight, it's bright, but it's a bit too bright. Yo, I think I hear someone. Bro, those are eyes. An old wall phone. Baron. Oh, what? I can hide? Oh, never mind. That's my heartbeat. Are there other footsteps? It's freezing in here. Ooh, a new note. Let's go. Arla's behavior. The changes were subtle at first. Abrupt mood swings, rage episodes, insomnia. Mr. Smith discontinued seeing his patients. I would never, wait, I never would have thought this possible, knowing his reputation as one of the most renowned in his field. The family also stopped spending time together, rarely gathering for meals. The most bizarre were Carla's late night strolls. She started taking long walks during the night, unbeknownst to the Smiths, once everyone had gone to sleep. She had always been an introvert, and her new behavior intrigued me. Last night, while she was out for one of her walks, I overheard a woman's weeping coming from her room. I opened the door to her room, but was, but was confounded to find the room empty. I decided to look around. Perhaps someone was hiding in her room. As I searched, I caught something in the periphery of my vision. Something glinted under her bed. It was a handgun. Where did she get it? This is a troubling development. This cannot wait. I must inform Mr. Smith of this first thing when he wakes up. Oh, put it down. Apparently there's a gun. Ooh, what the hell? That was a serious suicidal crow. What attracted him to this window? I don't know. I don't care. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? The letters have partly faded away. It looks like it says Carla and reading about Carla there should be a gun under her bed. Oh, of course it's locked. There's a peeking hole behind the painting. But oh! Keep buzzing, I don't care. It's a rather mystery. Why, why, why is it leaning in like this? Why is that on fire? I'm not going under that. So, ooh, I don't know the code. So we got to look for it. I go up the stairs. Nope, is this working before? I'm not sure. What do you mean before? It's your first time being in here. Right, James? Yo. 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 Oh! Oh god, am I hallucinating? Damn it, it's locked. Alright. Ooh. I do have a battery life. Oh, it's candles. Oh. Alright, maybe I just need to backtrack again. Or I move over. Those eyes those eyes are not there anymore. It's completely soaked in water. I don't see anything. Oh, visuals. Hey, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty one seven eighty nine. Alright, let's try that. Twenty one seven eighty nine. Hey. Alright, what did I get? No. Oh my controller died. Oh wait. Alright, hold on. Gotta come back to this guys. Now we're back. We got a key from the chest. Which means there's some there's some door we can unlock. Maybe it's this one. Let me turn that flashlight off. I don't got another battery. All right, and so not that door. What is something that's locked? Well, let's go through this room. Wow, boards. Yes, sir. Aha, let me in. I don't have much battery life, so let's hurry up through this. I ain't got much. There's an emblem sticking into the goo. Oh, it's sticking to the goo web. I don't think it's a good idea to touch it. Shall I? 
I don't care. Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh. Oh. I got it. I got it. I do kind of understand. That is, that is not what I was going for. All right, we're getting somewhere. Well, I'm gonna just see y'all after I finish this puzzle. That scream almost made me deaf. Nonetheless, it looked like it could fit somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whew. Where can I find another battery? Cause I won't be going anywhere with that one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, a new note. Observation number one. As per my very first observation, some of the things happened exactly as I read in the case file, especially the mysterious opening and locking of doors. I am much more worried about what I saw in the basement. A little boy turning into a monster. I'm not sure if it was the same monster that killed the cat outside the basement door. Also, did I really see a dream? I'm not sure. I did find my very first strong clue. Baron's note. What happened in Carla's room? I am sure I must have missed the blood on Carla's door when I first walked by. Many of the questions remain unanswered. But I have to keep my mind sane and not let my imagination go all over the place. Just remember that Mr. Crowther said only the strong clues matter. I thought, figure every clue matters. Where's another battery? We have an emblem? Oh my god. Alright, we do. We do. We have an emblem. And I don't know what that black thing is. Yep, nothing in here. Whoa, where did that come from? I see you have already learned quite a bit of what has happened here. I thought you'd leave after experiencing my little episodes of paranormal craziness. But you are one tough lad. Don't think you'll find me easily. I am protected by my new loving family. They know you are here and they are going to get rid of you like everyone else. For now, welcome to my home. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Smiths. Oh, this side is accessible now. What is that? It's locked. I know I can't let it get me, but... Oh! Once it sees you, it's just wraps. How are you supposed to avoid it exactly? Press the button to go upstairs. Ooh! Ooh, this music. I like it. What's in here? Whoa, nope, never mind. Music. How can a TV run when there's no electricity in the house? Why do I have these black circles around my eyes? What's happening to me? Oh no, gee. There's a soggy note laying between the dirty laundry. It could give us some clues. Daniel has changed a lot. He has changed. He doesn't talk to me anymore. And he has lost interest in the kids. He doesn't share his thoughts with me either. Oh wait, there's a woman. Every morning, I sit by his side and try to talk to him. When he is in pain, his cough is always worse in the morning. I ask him, where does it hurt? What's bothering you? What's on your mind? But he stays silent. How can I help him if he won't tell me what's wrong? I've tried my best to distract myself from this depression. This pessimism does not become me. I spend the mornings drawing in my art room or watering the tulips and the carnations in my greenhouse. I pass the evenings playing the piano, but it is for naught. Hours pass, but hours pass by, but I fail to get him out of my thoughts. How can you forget someone you love? However, I also love my kids. And these few weeks have been quite hard on Terry. And Ellen has only grown more distant. This situation is unhealthy for his family. I feel like the only way to fix this is to get away from all of this. Sometimes I feel like this house is cursed. Dan has always had a custom of giving me the gift of my choice on my birthday. Anything I want, it can be mine. Lucky for us, my birthday is right around the corner. <laughs> Next week to be pre precise. When we stand on the lighthouse, the very place where he asked me out first, and the place where I accepted his proposal, he will ask me what I wish for as, for as my gift. I will tell him that I wish for us to leave for the countryside. My aunt has a ranch there and it will only be a few days, only until things settle down, so he doesn't have to worry about his work. He always indulges me on, on my birthdays, and I'm sure he will agree. However, he has changed. If he doesn't accept my request, I will have no choice but to get my kids and go without him. It breaks my heart. It does, but my children are my responsibility. I feel you. Stop smoking, Zach. 
Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa! You're not gonna comment on that? Bro, I thought I turned you off. Oh, nah. This ain't the game to be playing. It's locked. I can hide behind that. Another note. Carla's suicide affected everyone. Carla's suicide has affected everyone at the Smith's residence. Several questions remain unanswered. Namely, the one about the source of the gun. The police took away the gun and some other of Carla's possessions as evidence. Each one of us was interviewed thoroughly. The kids were overlooked. They were just asked a couple of things about their interaction with Carla and told that they would be safe and that everything was under control. Once the police left, a layer of fear and sadness settled, oh, a layer of fear and sadness settled over the house as the shock of what had happened finally set in. None of us could sleep. I could hear Mr. Smith pacing in his office. His racking coughs echoed in the empty hallways. He had fallen sick a few days before Carla's untimely demise, and his cough had only got worse. So, Carla offed herself, and he got sick. Dad got sick a little before that. It's locked. There is dried out paint on the door's handle. Dried out paint? Well, I can't really do anything. I don't have a battery. I don't have a battery on me or anything. Oh well. There is like a room in there, but I, I can't see anything. Maybe I can't access like these areas now. I wish they had item descriptions because there are some items that I have in my inventory that I don't know what they are. Oh well, we'll, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Well, we'll, we will figure something out. Like did no one carry any batteries with them? Oh my, yeah, the stamina might be a problem. Might be. Wait, oh my gosh. I have a lighter. Wait, what do I have? A, I have a lighter, but I can't use it. I'm not going back in there. Come on, y'all gotta have a battery somewhere. And I can't use the lighter. What is the lighter for? Wait, that looks kind of like a pen a little bit. Can I dip it in the oil? Oh, never mind. Well then, yeah, I'm lost. All right, let me let me put all the things I haven't used yet in the quick thing. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, no, that is not the place for me. What did I get? Huh? No, sorry, not staying here. And not staying here. Uh, I'm stuck. Alright, that was stupid of me. Can I hide behind the bookcase? No. Alright, I'm too stuck. I'm about to look it up. I know my game did not just freeze. I am back. Apparently, I do have to go into that white room. The room like with the door. Oh my god, this stamina is gonna get me hurt, bruh. Wait, James, are you an asthmatic? I got another key. Is it to here? Nope, not there. All right, now it's unlocked. Nice. Oh no. Another key. Do you chase me or? It's locked. What in the world? Oh, well, let me hurry up. Looks like the same light how it men mentioned in Mr. Smith's lo- What was that? I don't know where that thing went, but mm -mm, I don't want nothing to deal with it. What in the world? Oh, get, bro. All right, I still have the key. And I have this new stuff. This is not where I need to be. Stupid. Ooh, maybe I'm stupid. Oh, not useful over there. What other door or thing is locked? Office? We could go there. Oh, bro, I ain't over here anymore. No ah, all right, it's unlocked. It was given to Daniel Smith a note. Patient file, Juan Carlos Rod Rodriguez. Rodriguez. The very first file I received just mentioned his first name. Carlos. Since I was seeing many other patients at the time, I declined his case. I couldn't accept another patient without compromising the time I gave to all my patients. As it's taking a case requires a lot of preparation and a good amount of time getting to know the patient. A couple of days passed and I received another patient's request with the name Juan Carlos. As usual, I wrote back and told the patient that I was swarmed with patients and that if he wishes, I can put his name on the wait list. He will be notified as the time slots open up. Then, on a fine Monday morning, I was having a cup of joe in my room and preparing some notes on my patients who had been coming up to me, who had been coming up to see me that day when Baron knocked on the office door. He came in and handed me the file. The third time, the patient name read as Carlo Juan Rodriguez, his full name. I couldn't say no to Carlos anymore. 
he was desperately trying to reach me. Perhaps he was in a lot of pain and really needed my help with something. His approach to me was surely unusual, but being a psychiatrist, I have met many different patients with a diverse set of situations and problems. I decided to make some time and start my sessions with Carlos as soon as possible. Baron took my acceptance letter and sent it to the same address from where the patient's request file came from. He got started the very next day. Nice, nice, nice. Pill jar. Not sure if it was for the patient or it belonged to Mr. Smith himself. He did sound sick. Alright, so we are in England. Alright, a picture. Ecology. Audio. Can't listen to it though. A lever. Maybe. Alcohol bottle? Could it be to light something on fire? Wait, honey. Your favorite soup isn't ready. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm outside! <laughs> These are claws. What was that? I can hide behind lockers and stuff too. That doesn't look, we're not gonna go near that. That don't look safe. Is this the backyard? This where the cat was? A hammer, let's go. Bring me back in. Soup is ready. No! Where did you come from? Bro, what is, bro, where is that roach coming from, dude? Let's see, so let's just see what I have so far. I have a lever. I have a bottle with something in it. That's about it. I also did get some new pictures. Oh, okay. These are details about the people. All right. I'll go through those in a later, later thing. Oh. Oh, that's, ooh. Let's see, was there anything else upstairs that I needed? No. I have a lever, which I feel like would be for power. And a substance. Well, yeah, let's go try the power. Oh, brother. What could be using a lever? We'll figure it out. Oh, wait. Do I not have the hammer and stuff anymore? Do I not have the hammer and stuff anymore? All right, let me go and get that. I'm gonna I'm see y'all when I, when I get that stuff back. Oh, wait, no, it's in the shed. That's right. All right, finally. Got the stuff. All right, let's go figure out where we gotta go next. Oh, spray bottle needs a refill. Whoa. Yo, what is that? Soup is ready. <laughs> oh, a note. Weed killer. I might have finally got the solution to our little weed problem in the greenhouse. The exterminator told me that we got it early. Oh, that we got to it early. Should we have let, should we have let it grow some more? It could have become very nasty. Luckily, he provided me with this weed killer recipe. 400 milliliters of white vinegar, 300 milliliters of plain alcohol, a spoon of salt. If you could provide the regents, I will make sure the greenhouse will be completely weed free by tomorrow, sir. Baron, P.S. Do not mix the weed killer with any form of compost. The exterminator explicitly warned me of this. Let's go, we got some salt. What happened? I'm just sitting here eating. Oh, what is happening? Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. I did not like that. That was tasty. Who cooked this? Someone is definitely around here. We just eating stuff now. The family doesn't come together for lunch anymore. The food on the table keeps getting cold. The family doesn't come up together for lunch for, or dinner. I have asked for the family to have lunch and dinner at the right times and kept everything ready on the table. But more often than not, I end up eating alone. Once I managed to get the kids on the table at the time for lunch, but Mr. Smith requested to have her food served in her room. Oh, Mrs. Smith. And Mr. Smith locked himself in his office on the pretense of work. As I neared his office, the smell of tobacco permeated the air. He had recently relapsed into smoking. Mr. Smith has also taken possession of the key to the basement door that leads to the backyard. Often it so appears that I go to check on the basement door to make sure that it is locked only to find it ajar and Mr. Smith gone for a late night stroll. This worries me since I'm not entirely sure if, Mr. Sm if Mrs. Smith knows about his nocturnal excursions. Does she really need to know? It's a lot. All right, so we got salt. I think we do have vinegar and I think we got alcohol. All right, now we can, oh my God. After I'm done, we can go upstairs. Ooh, ooh a cassette player, let's go. Now, will I actually listen to any of the audio? I don't know. And 
old school bag. Of course, you want to talk about how nasty the room is. Number one junior baseball league. This must be the kids' room. Well, the boys' room. Let's go. Give me that battery. Oh, finally. Excuse me? I think I can move this. Oh, I can break this with some heavy tool in hand. What if... Can I do it with the hammer? No, turn it off. Ah, what we got, what we got? Ooh, please. So hungry, ooh. Oh my gosh, Dad. This is Terry. I don't know who Terry is, but, excuse me? What is that? Please stay. No, I'm fine. I don't, I don't really want to. Please, mm -mm, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. Ooh, no, no, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh God. My leg hurts. Oh my goodness. Always hurt yourself. Ugh. There's a key with the tag inside. It reads backyard. Well, that's where we're going. Oh wait, nope. Don't take that out. Oh, the music. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. That was not there. That wasn't there. Why'd the music stop like that? Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Absolutely not. I, I rebuke, I rebuke, I rebuke all of that. And what are these things? I don't think those were there. This is not the, these black lines were not here. What What are all these? Yo, no, I don't like this. Door is unlocked. So there's a hose. Ooh, who is that? A snowman. I used to build one of these with my little brother as a kid. And it's locked, sure. Who built this? I don't care. I don't want to go back. What do you mean you don't want to go back? Oh, that's not, that's not normal. I don't think that's normal snowman behavior. Cross button to enter the woods. Oh my gosh. Well, let's, let's get right into it. What's over here? Nothing. Ooh, is this scarf from the woman I saw? I don't know. I don't care. I'm gonna leave. Ooh, this grave looks like it's been dug up recently. Ooh, pretty big guy. Rather not, I rather not deal with that. Whoa, wait, wait a minute, hold on. What, what's happening? Ooh, cross button to enter the grave? Oh, crop, no. Oh my God, bro, they not gonna keep getting me with that roach. Well, wait a minute, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he getting up on me, he getting up on me. Go, 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 go. James. James. Oh, word. Whoa, who is that? Is that the mom? What is this terrible smell? I do kind of like this scene. Like this little scenery right here. Okay. Oh, I was like, how do I do that? Excuse me? You don't have anything to comment about that tree. Is that supposed to be a girl? Symbol for a woman? I think. I don't know. Well, let's see what's over here first. Where did the beautiful music go? Ooh, an axe. Well, I'm glad I did come all the way over here. Shut up. Ooh, gate with a code. Oh! First it was that. Then I think I saw that. Which then led to that. I didn't really see anything else. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me restart that. First it was that. Then it was that, that. That, that, that? No, all right. Well, let me go through and see. Let me, yeah, let me try and go past back all these and see if I can find them. I'ma see y'all right back at the gate. Look through the entire place and I made sure I remember which one. Apparently, let me make sure I got this right. I saw that one first. Then I saw that one. Then I saw that one. Then it was that one that one and that one right there now let's go anything all the way nope the generator it's out of gas all right what's in here rusty bucket gas all right okay it's out of gas so we use the gas we have here to fill it up my genius always prevails it looks like the power is out how i thought i thought i put the gas in oh never what oh a door all right a well, hold on. Could the lever be used for this? No. Did I not turn the power on? Like, was it not on? Oh, brother. Coming after me. Nope, don't know, don't care. Stupid, stay out there. 
I think I hear someone. I don't hear anything. I don't want to hear anything. Oh yes, I do hear a fierce argument. Where? Oh, what was that? That must be how she ended up in the lake. What, what's happening? What's going on? Oh, whoa, whoa. Great, the elevator is working again. I don't hear any more voices coming from the top. Maybe I could find something interesting. You're not gonna comment on what you just saw. You know what, James, you're not, you're not exactly the brightest, which is fine. What's over here? I bet there's a piece of, from the same scarf I saw stuck on the tree in the woods. Whoa. This must be the place where Mr. Smith offed himself. Oh, that is, that is very sad. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, I saw you before as well. I know you. Tell me what it is that I can do for you. Please stop. Don't hurt me. I would have pushed you. No, I wouldn't. Oh, hey. I see you are very confused. You do have a reason. They are making their way into your mind and distorting the reality. I miss my family. They're all gone, and I know it wasn't Daddy who did th this all. They forced him to do it. Ex it's too dark in here. There is no light, and I hope you will find me soon. Yo, I hope, like, I'm glad it's daytime right now, cause I sure wouldn't be able to play this at night. Oh, was I eating the whole time? All right, we had two more notes. One evening in the backyard. One evening, I was playing in the backyard when I saw daddy go out for a walk. All right, it is one of the kids. I decided to follow him into the woods to surprise him. I followed him through the birches until we reached the graveyard. It was getting dark and I felt scared. So I started to turn back to go home, but then I stopped. Daddy was stooped all over a grave. I realized that he was digging it up. A chill ran down my spine as I saw him take something from the grave. It looked like an arm. He brought it up to his mouth and started tearing into it. I was petrified. In my panic, I stepped on a branch. He heard me. When he turned his bloody face towards me, I lost it. I ran back home, too terrified to even look back. I burst through the front door and stood in the foyer, out of breath. Mummy saw me and hurried to my side, asking what had happened. I must have looked terrible because she sounded quite worried. I ran to my room, shut the door, and hid under the covers of my bed, shivering. What had I just seen? Was it all just a nightmare? It must have been. Last night, Daddy came to my room while everyone was asleep. He woke me up and told me he had found my cat that had gone missing earlier in the day. I think Cookie went through the broken wall, he said. Could you help him out of the shaft? I will go in myself, but your Daddy is a big guy and I can't fit in well. Oh, that's, that's foul. Observation number two. My understanding of both Terry and Mrs. Smith is very vague and limited. I keep questioning myself if everything I saw was merely an illusion. Did I really relive the final moments of the mother and son? My visit to the lighthouse felt real, and I did run all the way through the backyard and the woods being chased by the same rabbit monster. What am I, what I am sure about th is this. Things inside and around the house are not what I have been told by the previous investigators, nor what I have read in any of the case files. I am beginning to wonder if certain aspects of the investigations were kept hidden from me. Was Mr. Smith behind the murder of his own family? To me, it clearly seems that Mr. Smith merc mercilessly killed his own family. Then why was Ellen spared? Moreover, where was she all this time when all of her family went missing? There are so many questions, yet so few answers. I must hurry and search for more clues so that I can find Ellen. More importantly, I have to be wary of the dark entities that haunt this house. I am clearly not welcomed here. True, 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 true. All right. Oh, oh, it's me. I thought it was a loading screen. Ooh, a container to mix and process items. Mix, oh, it's to mix. Oh, that's right. Let's see here. What if I did, all right. All right, I can use this to kill the mutated plant. Let's go. Oh, uh, well. This was not here. None of these were here. All right, so I guess back to the plant I go. Wasn't that thing chasing me? Who was writing all these symbols? I don't like that. 
Oh! I'm on a timer too. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, get me out, get me out, get me out. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know what that thing has against me, but oh wait, there's something shiny behind the plant. Aha! I can do these. Just need to find those corners. But there should be a corner somewhere around here. Aha! Boom! Got that corner. Now the edges. This obviously is not right. Oh, is that not is that not it? No, it is not. Oh, whoops. No. Aha! Alright, what did I get? Alright, I got another piece. I didn't even use that one yet. Are these like all gonna be keys to something? Ooh. Let me out of here. The pictures look different. Oh. Ooh, that's open. Oh no. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Aha! Yes, sir. Ooh, I don't wanna hear that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, I wanna hear that. Oh, that is not you, Ellen. I know who you are. James? You are looking for Ellen, right? I haven't met her since months. I miss her a lot. But she told me the other day that maybe you join my tea party. Please, come on, sit down and have a tea. Thank you for the offer. If you could tell me where I can find Ellen? It's all I need to know at the moment. Well, all I can tell you is that if you are looking for the last emblem, I do have it in my little dollhouse somewhere. Let's have tea for now. I don't drink tea. I'm sorry. If you can't help me find Ellen, I have to find a way out myself. Why? Why are you talking to the doll like that? Nobody refused my tea party, but you did. You know what? I don't want you here. I'm going to summon them. Go to hell. Uh, what? Oh, just go to the ladder. Cause why? Why would you say that? Like, there's an entire doll, and you're... Your choice is to talk shit. What? You might have just take me. Because apparently there's a key, and I don't have a key. Oh. Word. Y'all are some goofballs. Oh, God. Are there anyone? I can do that. There's no picture. Whoa. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I will indeed figure it out. It felt so surreal. Another note. Observation three. No. I was not in a dollhouse. And I did not have a tea party with a doll. This is absurd. I believe I'm being manipulated like a pawn. I was set up, I was set on a path where I had no alternative but to read Ellen's lullaby. Then lo and behold, I was a miniature version of myself in a dollhouse. I can't believe what just happened. My mind is muddled and I can no longer make sense of what's happening around me. The line between reality and illusion is blurred here. I have been bruised and cut a couple of times now. But visiting the peaceful white garden always makes me feel better. I look forward to those dreams now. However, they don't just take away the pain. I also lose my most recent memories. I must remember to write down every minute detail or every minute detail before I go to sleep. My strength wavers, but I'm going to try my best to escape the dark entities and find Ellen. All right, that's what I'm talking about, perseverance. You can open the attic if I know where to find the missing lever. We got that. <laughs> yes, sir. Whoa. Is there a specific order? Well, you know, I'm going to just put it in the order I got it. Word. A and to enter the dark side. Oh, all right. Cool. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Sacrifice. Oh, no. Another weird shaped emblem. Ancient seal. Oh, God. Did this person burn to death? Oh, no need to find a way to lower the wooden bridge is there anything all the way to the right no all right well let's just go back out here i can swap this out though do i put the purple one here who is that hey we got the bridge down and we're not running out of stamina though note an innocent family this used to be a village once full of life and laughter everyone knew everyone and once a week all the villagers used to gather for a great feast Every family would bring something to share and enjoy with the entire village. Elders and children alike look forward to that day when any, when everyone would come together, eat and share stories filled with mystery and wisdom. Alas, all good things come to an end. And one fateful day, the villagers, the village's urchins spread rumors about one of the village's families. By dusk, the family was labeled as witches. 
a violent mob dragged them from their beds and burned the man, his wife and his wife and their son on the stake. The, vill the entire village watched them burn. The mob searched for the last of the family, a little girl, but were unable to find her. The little girl had got scared when the angry men came knocking on their door. So she had ran, so she had run down to the cellar and hid behind stacks of hay. She hid there crying. It wasn't until a few days later that they found her. The stench guided them. The little girl had starved to death, alone and afraid. They buried her. Perhaps they thought this could redeem them, but some acts can't be undone. And acts of such cruelty give birth to malevolent spirits, spirits bent on vengeance. Absolutely, because nah. Who in the world? Oh! One of the villagers burnt to death. He is still in pain. I don't really know how to help him. Oh, it's one of those same it's one of those same signs I saw back in the basement. This contains someone's ashes. The pit has name on it. I can't read what it's written though. It looks like a little house. It looks like a door. Bones from a head human being. Alright, remember that symbol. I gotta remember that. Alright. Alright. Can you hear us? We are in pain. Wait, what? Are these dead ones talking to me? Am I losing my sanity? Please, help our souls find peace. Who are you two? What happened here? They burnt everyone. Everyone. They? Who? Please help us. Our innocent souls are trapped in our dead burned bodies. I'm confused. I don't know how to help. Please help. I don't know how you want me to help you. How, how am I supposed to help? Oh, what the? It's like their field of vision gets more and more wide. Do I have to go back and talk to y'all? Whatever, I'll, I'll still do it. But you weren't even over here last time. Oh my goodness. All right, I have to go really slow. Like really, what's the point of having stamina? You can't outrun anything. Well, let me find out what's over here. I can see something burning at the distance. What is starting to get more red? I can't go further. The floor is burning. Whoa, the atmosphere is wild here. I don't even think there's water anymore. Oh, the liquid in this bottle smells weird. Well, I don't know. What is it? Alright, uh, well, weird, weird liquid. Well, I guess we take it back to those bodies, I think. You come out the wall a little quicker. My gosh! Ugh, finally. I free you guys now what? My fault if I'm being too quiet. It's just that, that really got me. Though having to deal with that little segment and all that. Are they gonna help me get across here? Oh, it's blue now. We're free now. Thank you, mister. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Another note. Restless souls. It is impossible for a soul to rest once it has suffered such an unjust death. Often they choose to stay behind and wreak justice on their aggressors rather than move on and death often twists the meaning of justice. After the family was burnt, they cursed the village. A fortnight later, at the end of the feast, they burned the entire village as it slept. Not a single man, woman, or child survived. Nothing but ashes remained. The innocent ones still roamed the countryside. They must be put to rest, help them, and perhaps they will return the favor. Sure. All right, go up the ladder. Oh God, he's missing his arm and leg. All right, there seems to be a tunnel dug in here. Ooh, there's an arm. I just need to find a leg. How do I get out? All right, well, here's your arm, mister. Ooh, there's a hiding spot. That must mean there's a monster nearby. Thank you. Nope, I'm not gonna see what's over there. There's a hiding spot and no monster. I'm good. Uh, I'm about to make your day. Wee. excuse me? What was that? Like I said, there was a hiding spot. You gave me peace. I will lead you to the truth. Heard. That's what I'm here for, the truth. Bruh. You despicable me, built ass motherfucker. Yo, up off of me. You're not gonna catch me, stupid. You're not gonna catch me, right? Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. Dummy. Whoa. Hold on now. Superstition is a dangerous thing. This is where it happened. The village echoed with the wails of the mother, begging for her son's life. It was to no avail, of course. The mob was thirsty for blood. Superstition is a dangerous thing. They lighted the pyre underneath the accursed, and that was when the scream started. They didn't last for long, though. 
the child was the first to go quiet. Then the mother followed. The father's agony lasted a bit longer, but in the end, he too went silent. In fact, the entire village had gone silent. The mob was no longer jeering. The grisly scene greeted them had jarred them back to reality. Faces were sickened as the realization of their crimes dawned on them. Beneath the blackened stakes on the pile of ashes lay the charred remains of the culminated family. The most sickening was the cadaverous husk of the little boy. It was clutching something in its hand. One of the men stepped forward and picked it up. It was a small rabbit mask, blackened with suit, blackened with soot. How it had survived the fire was a mystery. Most of the village was horrified. The family had been innocent. There was no question of that. What had driven the villagers to kill one of their own? Many went to the edge of the clearing to be, to be sick. Others stood there in shock. Others, unsure of what to do, started to clear the ashes. The rabbit must have been the little boy. And you had the audacity to smoke and then put the fire out right here. Ew, ooh, ooh, James, you're irritating. I'm really confused. I, I'm lost. All right, I'm gonna get back to y'all once the puzzle's done. Is that the way? I, th I think that is. But I literally have to look this up. Is this not right? Line up the pieces. There we go. What is happening? What did I do? Oh, Ellen. Right. And tentacle monsters. Ellen, with your blood, I can now win the eternal life with my new family and pay for all the love they had given me when my own family abandoned me all alone in the darkness. Ellen, listen to me. I saw everything. The dark entities are your actual enemy. They want you because they have lost their own daughter a long time ago. They are evil entities who burnt down the entire village and even killed your very own family. They are not entities, they are family. Well this time, I'll end this and sacrificing you will win me an eternal life with them. Oh, it's me! You ain't gonna do it. You won't. Stupid. I'm sorry, you're a child, my fault. Ellen, uh, that's sad. I shouldn't have called her stupid, I'm sorry. But everyone's free now. I'm free. I'm happy. I can finally, I can finally go back to my normal ass job <laughs> as an unwanted officer or private investigator, whatever it is I do. But I'm gonna sit here and look at the rain and the floating words above my head. <laughs> sure thing, James. You earned it, I guess. You were kind of a shitty person throughout the entire game and a little stupid, but it is what it is. Voiceovers? There were people speaking? Oh. We are not sure why Mr. James went into the abandoned house alone. He is a fresh investigator, but the investigation was never open and James was never given a task to find Ellen. The medical team is looking after him and based on the first finding, we believe Mr. James just broke into the house without any legal permit. We are going to be looking deep into this situation and oh, as a final word, we once again would like to announce to public and the people of White Hill, the case of the mysterious murder of Mr. S of the Smiths was closed three years ago. The police and the investigation team were able to find dead bodies of all family members except Ellen. James was in the hospital for a week and after the recording of his statement by the police, the doctors finally allowed James to leave. His memory is vague and he remembers nothing much, but he is sure that he did see the final moments of Ellen and she is no more. It seems like he can't explain his past three days to anyone, except that he handed over a couple of notes retrieved from the house with Baron's name on it. Once again, the case remains closed. Thank you, White Hill Police Spokesperson Timothy Crother. All right, guys, that was Ellen. I, I, I liked it. I liked the game. The game was cool. There were some parts, mostly, like mostly text-wise, uh, you know, it was a little hard to read. Nothing game breaking though. That last area is who that monster's field of vision was huge, humongous. But uh, it was, I actually really did like that game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment on what I should play next. 
and uh, make sure to push that notification bell to know whenever I do upload a new video. Maybe another horror game? Wink, wink. Who knows? But yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure, and uh, I hope to see y'all in the next video. Later.